All right. And I want to read to you, it's called The Beetle Alphabet Book. And I'm going to ask you questions about the book as we go through. So there's ladybugs. And I love bugs. Okay. So uh, we're going to begin with the, we're going to go through the alphabet with bugs. And we're going to start here. Celebrate. There's nothing on earth as diverse as beetles. We start this alphabet book with the heaviest beetle around. A is for the African Goliath beetle. This beetle is almost as large as your hand. And in Africa, children often tie strings to these beetles and they play with them as pets. Do you think you'd ever like to have a beetle as a pet? Yeah. That'd be interesting. Just like we have dogs and cats, they have some giant beetles. All right. B is for the bombardier beetle. The bombardier beetle sprays poison gas to protect itself. See how the gas comes out here? But it doesn't hurt people. But for teeny little bugs and teeny frogs and little lizards, they should watch out. And this is stinky. Just like if your dog, my dog sometimes has stinky gas. And this bombardier beetle, it makes a stinky thing. Okay, on to the next one. C is for cucumber beetle. Farmers don't like this cute beetle because it eats tender young cucumber plants. And it has cousins, the potato beetle, the asparagus beetle, the carrot beetle, and those are also pests. So I'm curious, what is one of your favorite vegetables to eat? So uh, would one of you share what, what's a favorite vegetable? Is it a cucumber or a carrot or celery or salad? And I'll let your teacher call on one of you. And you can come tell me. What's your favorite, a favorite vegetable? One that you like a lot. Peas. Peas. I love peas. And there are probably beetles that eat peas. So beetles eat all sorts of different plants. All right, thank you. I'm going to go on to the next beetle. D is for dung beetle. And dung is poop. This beetle rolls around balls of animal poop into its nest. And it lays eggs in the poop so the babies will have something to eat when they hatch. Dung beetles think poop is delicious. Oh, I don't think I'd like to eat poop. That's a that sounds pretty yucky to me. Yeah. Although my dog Daisy, she sometimes eats poop. Daisy. Yeah. So E is for elephant stag beetles. Beetles come in all different shapes. These beetles look like they have antlers. Come on, now behave and stop fighting. Now, have any of you guys ever seen this beetle? This is a beetle that we find sometimes around our homes here in Goshen. Have you ever seen this beetle? Is your, te is your teacher? Ever it's a big beetle. Uh, all right. Let's go to the next one. Oh. F is for fungus beetle. This beetle needs to go to the beauty shop. It's not slick and shiny like many beetles. It's very difficult to recognize because it's camouflaged. What does it mean to be camouflaged? Do anybody know what that means? That's a fancy word. And uh, let your teacher help me out. If somebody's raising their hand, if they know what it means to be camouflaged. Any of you guys know? Haley is be Haley's answering. All right. Well, what does it mean to be camouflaged? Could you hear her? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I couldn't. She said that when a bug is camouflaged, it hides by becoming the same color as what it's hiding in. That's exactly right. It looks exactly the same. And that's exactly what this beetle looks like. What do you think it looks like? It's trying to hide. What do you guys think it looks like? I leave it looks like a rock. Yeah, it kind of looks like a rock, or it might look like leaves, or, or bumpy bark, or something like that. All right, let's look at the next beetle. 
Z for giraffe beetle. Wow, what a long neck. The male giraffe beetle uses this unique neck to roll up leaves. The female that lays her eggs in that protected place. That's a funny looking beetle, isn't it? You can see why they call it a giraffe because it's got that big, long head right there. All right, let's see what's next. H is for harlequin beetle. Its front legs are so huge, some people think they're antennae. And beetles are insects, and all insects have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's its antenna, but look at those front long legs. I is for Ips beetle. Most beetles are teeny. See if you can find the Ips beetles. How many Ips beetles do you see in this picture? They're teeny little beetles. How many do you guys see? Two. Two. I see two also, but the, the story says there's three. I'm not sure. I see one here, and I see one there, and maybe there's one here, maybe. I don't know. It says there's three, but it's hard to tell. All right. Oh, oh even the word B is inside the word beetle. A bee is not a beetle. A beetle's wings right here, they fold inside its back, but a bee's wings right here, they stick out straight. Have any of you guys ever been stung by a bee? Anybody got stung? Yeah, it's kind of ouchy when you get stung. But what do we get from what do we get from bees that we like to eat? What what do we get from bees that we like to eat? Honey. 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 Yeah, I love honey. Do you guys ever make a honey and peanut butter sandwich? That's a good sandwich, honey and peanut butter on bread. Instead of honey and instead of peanut butter and jelly, honey and, pe and peanut butter is good. Okay, we'll go look at our next big beetle. J is for June bug. Look at this. You can recognize because it's got a straight line down its back that shows it's it's a June bug. Or shows it's a beetle. How do you think the day how do you think a June bug got its name? Any ideas? Okay. How do you think it got its name? And I'm having trouble hearing you. It comes in June. Yep, that's exactly right. June beetle bugs come in June. Okay, now we've gone through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Now we're to K, and K is for Kalahari beetle. This beetle lives in the Kalahari Desert where there's hardly any water. Have you guys ever, so where, have you guys ever been someplace that doesn't have a lot of water? Ever been to a desert? Uh-huh, I see somebody's been to a desert. And beetles live all sorts of places. Beetles live in forests. Have you guys been in a forest, I bet? Yep, there's lots of forests. Have you been to a forest? I have a forest. You guys ever been to a beach? Like, oh, raise your hand if you've been to a beach. Yep. So beetles live at beaches. They live in forests. They live in the desert. They live in mountains. They live all over. L is for leaf beetle. This beetle is the same color as green leaves it eats for dinner. M is for Mexican bean beetle. What does this beetle look like, kind of? It looks like one that we have a, right around us that we find in our gardens. And the, we see a beetle around us that's red. What do we call that? What do you call looks, a beetle that's red? Around it looks us? like this beetle with spots on it. Raise your hand if you know. Raise your hand if you know. Charlie, what is it? 
we see them all the time in our gardens. They're red and they have black spots, just like this one that has yellow and black spots. Ladybugs. Yep, ladybugs. So this beetle is very similar to our ladybugs, but it lives down in Mexico and it eats uh, all sorts of plants. All right. Ooh, are you looking at me? What is this? What kind of insect is this? What is this? What is it, Chandler? Um, it's um, a tarantula spider. Yep, it's a spider. And how many legs do spiders have? Eight. Eight, yep. So, and spiders don't have wings, but they make webs. N is for net winged beetle. See, this be beetle has wings that look like nets. Most beetles' wings are smooth, but these look like nets. And O is for oriental beetle. Scientists have discovered almost a million different kinds of beetles. There are more beetles on Earth than any other creature. More beetles than people, more be beetles than dogs and cats, more beetles than anything. P is for pie dish beetle. See, this looks like a dish that you could put something in. Other beetles have interesting names. These are, look at these funny names. Furniture beetle, drugstore beetle, mud-loving beetle, death watch beetle, puffball beetle, flower beetle, snail-eating beetle, engraver beetle. All sorts of funny names for beetles. Q is for quartz plain beetle. It lives in the quartz plains where rocks are white. Look how weird that looks. R is for rhubarb beetle, a rhubarb weevil. And a weevil is a type of beetle that has a long snout. And at the end of its snout, that's where its teeth are. Would you like to have your teeth at the end of your nose? Would you like to eat with your nose? That would be pretty weird, wouldn't it? But this eats with its nose. S is for seed beetle, and it has big comb-shaped antennas, and it eats seeds. T is for tiger beetle, and it has huge jaws, and it looks kind of like a tiger. And beetles are biters, so you want to be careful if you see a beetle if you pick it up. U is for underwater beetle. This beetle is like a US Navy SEAL. It goes on the land, it goes in the air, and it can live and swim underwater. That would be cool. Oh, La Cucaracha. So what kind of bug is this? It's not a beetle. Do you guys know what that is? Cockroach. Yeah, but cockroaches aren't beetles. You see their wings cross, but they're not beetles, but they're not I don't like cockroaches. I one of those. And V is for a violin beetle. Isn't that a weird looking beetle? It looks kind of like a violin. W is for whirly gigs. They dance on the tops of ponds and strings. And what letter in the alphabet comes after W? We're almost done with our alphabet book of beetles. What comes after W? X. X. Let's see if there's an X beetle. So X is for Exlortes gemonicus, a rhinoceros beetle. Look at that. It looks like a rhino. And here's an X-ray of the inside of a beetle. These are its hearts. How many hearts does a beetle have? Can you count them? How many hearts are there? Oh, I think hearts. Yeah, there's eight hearts. How many hearts do you have? One. Yeah, you just have one. All right. Y is for yellow tortoise beetle. It looks kind of like a tortoise, which would be a turtle. And Z is metallic beetles. Look at them. They look like metal like zinc, or like bronze, or like gold. Yeah. You see those in your gardens too, all those different ones. So I'm gonna stop 